In this video we'll show you how we can create a contour which is the geometric element that is required for the milling software. A contour is um, pretty much the same as a polyline that uh, you might be familiar with in other CAD systems. It's a series of linked line and arc segments that the machining software will follow. So we'll work on the drawing that uh, we had previously which we created using the CAD system and then we added the dimensions onto it. Now the fact that the dimensions are there or not won't make any difference to what we're doing next. So to create the contour we choose the big red NC button from the drawing operations toolbar here and the first thing you should notice is where the zero position is. The datum of the drawing was in the center of the piece of paper so that as a default is the datum or the origin point for machining. If we want to change that we look to the left hand uh, toolbar here and choose set NC datum and this will allow us to move the datum from the center of the drawing to a position somewhere on the geometry. So if we wanted our datum to be the bottom right hand corner then we could indicate that here. If we want it to be in the middle we can simply move it back but it's important that the datum is set correctly before you create the contour. So to create a contour we use the contour icon here and the help at the bottom says left click to indicate the start point i.e. the first line or arc of this contour or profile. A contour is used for milling, a profile is used for turning. So as we move the cursor around then it highlights the line under the cursor and the blue triangle, sorry the blue square that you see there um, is showing me the start point of the line and the arrow is going to the left. That's because the cursor is towards the right hand end of that line. If I move the cursor towards the left hand end of the line then it picks up that end point and the direction of the contour would be anti-clockwise. But uh, as with all things the options can be changed later if you change your mind about cutting direction and so on. So we click the mouse and the defaults can all be left as they are. One thing to note is that in general the shape is closed. If that's not the case we uncheck that box. The NC data at the bottom, the name that the contour has been created with starts off at CON0 and then increments to CON1, CON2, CON3 etc. But it's just a name. The Z surface, uh, this is the top of the job and normally that would be set to Z0. The depth of the contour is measured from there, so if we enter a depth of 20, notice that I don't need the minus sign there because it's a depth, it's assumed to be going into the workpiece. So we click OK and leave the rest of the defaults as they are. And then the system tells me that that contour has been created and gives me confirmation which I click OK and we can see that the contour has been drawn in a thicker red line style so that it's easy for us to identify. The next stage in the operation will be to transfer this contour through to the CAM system. So to do that I firstly save away this drawing. So I go to File, Save As and give it a name And then from the menu at the top, we choose machining and milling module. So when I click this, we'll be transferred into the milling software. And we'll cover how we set up the machine tool and how we create the program in a subsequent video.